Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. As you can see, I have a virtual machine sitting in the middle of the desktop instead of a full screen setup when I usually use VMs. The reason is, is because we're going to be troubleshooting RAM and uh, the screen resolution for the virtual machine is very low and you normally see black bars. So this just makes it so there's something aesthetically pleasing to look at. So anyways, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a Ubuntu live disk and you can find information on how to do that in the description. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and restart your computer as I restart my virtual computer here. As it starts up, you want to instantly press the escape key. So once it's in the live disk, then you can press escape again to get rid of that menu. And from here, you need to find test memory. Now, as soon as we're in the test memory area, you can see we're in memtest and we are accessing our computer and we can test our RAM. So instantly it's going to start testing. You don't really need to do anything if you don't want to. It's going to show you the results. But if you want to check out the tests for, you know, for, uh, you know, the, the individual tests that it has, you can press the C button and you can go test selection and you can do default tests. You can skip current test. You can select a test. You know, if you want to do test two, you can select test two and it will go there. You can also select five to refresh the screen. And uh, that's pretty much how all of that works. Now, as you can see on my screen, it already says pass complete. This is because the virtual machine only has access to about four uh, gigabytes of my RAM, so it's not scanning my entire 16 gigabytes, so it's a little bit faster. But it has told me that there are no errors, so my RAM, I've troubleshooted my RAM and I've found out that there's nothing wrong with it. If there were errors, it would show on the bottom of the screen here and we would know exactly what to do. So, very straightforward process. It's very easy once you get the Ubuntu virtual, uh, excuse me, the Ubuntu uh, USB disk working because you can just run this test at any time. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>